Hello guys, so welcome to my first ever video tutorial. Today I'm gonna talk about the concepts of differential calculus and I'm about to introduce to you the definition of it and how to derive the general formula of derivative. So before anything else, I would like you to like this video and subscribe in my channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos that I will make. So for the simplest definition of differential calculus, it is the branch of calculus that deals with instantaneous rate of change. So to further explain this topic, kay budlagin sa nga topic sa kon kag simo. I try my best nga ma-explain ko ginitanan nga without any error kag as, as much as possible nga ma-English id ko kag may tindihan yo gid maya. So so start this topic. So I have here uh I have here a topic for proving and proving and deriving differential calculus formula. So I have here so velocity. So magamba ka velocity. It's all about physics. So so hindi lang mabakol ba ako mag ambal physics. So kay ako sa niya. I try my best nga makabalo kamo niya. So so, I have here velocity. I have two velocities here. So, instantaneous and average velocity. So, first for instantaneous velocity. So, instantaneous itself. Instant. So, dasig. So, for an instant. So, I have here a tangent line. So, it is represented by the slope. So, ang slope sa tangent line also equals sa instantaneous velocity which is how many so? M is equals to M is equals to D ah delta x over delta t. Sorry guys, kaya yun. Maybe si Bisho ako nga marker. So guys, pasin siya gid ang isa ko ka marker. Wala na mayo ing so emiton ko dapat ang whiteboard <laughs> whiteboard marker so so siri ang kalan sa delta x over delta t ang sili ko na ang slope sa tangent line nga ini equal sa instantaneous velocity so it means which also ang slope is equal man sa Derivative of a function. So, ang derivative sang x squared equals sa slope sang ini. So, matindihan nyo lang. So, so in general, in conclusion, the, vela the instantaneous velocity is equals to the slope of the tangent line and also equals to the derivative of the function. So, ang mga sa guys. So, instantaneous lang sa tungod. Isa lang sa so, within a point, there's only one x, uh, one time, and one distance. So, meter per second lang sa. So, ang mga tawag sa nga velocity, meter over second. So, also, pares man sila sa slope, which is, ang delta y mo represented by distance nga x. So, ang delta x mo represented man, ma, represented man sa time which is second so meter per second so amo na niyo ba guys so so dire naman sa average velocity so average velocity la in ginisa sa para sa instantaneous velocity which is average means there's only there's a uh, two or more point nga pwedeng include dire so i have only two points here so para Tapos ang sa aton, kay kung tatlo or, or more pa, mas budlay na. Ang budlay is solve ang average velocity. So, kung mag, so mas ang average, di ba? So, mas ang average. So, umutang ko lang, ang malani, average. Si plus 2, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2. Di ba? Muna sa mag, so mas ang average. So, so, same ano man, related man sa average velocity. So, we have, I have here uh, two points. So, 
there's, a, there's a, also a 1 time for each for each point so the same as a distance 1 distance man also in a 1 point so my time this uh, my distance man my time this uh, my distance man is uh, so so how to calculate the slope of this line so this line is a second line so second line touches two or more two or more points in a curve so two or more sa uh, so take two more than or more than two so tangent line is na ginasaya so muna ang difference ang tangent line kag second line so ang second line pwede man ni itawag nga chord for so recall lang sa within a circle matawag mo ang chord kung gatouch sa 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 imo nga circle for example circle man eh. so you have a point here and a point there so you're gonna connect this and you're gonna have a chord chord as in chord ka mo no chord ah, so man na guys ha so balik today so so velocity average velocity is also delta x over delta time so i'm gonna use a slope formula for this so delta y and delta x over delta x so musim this is the simplest form sang slope formula. So, ma recall nyo naman kay grade 11. Kung if you're taking STEM or engineering for the college, familiar ginisimong ini yung formula. So, ang um, y sub 2 minus, oh, minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, I have a point here. So, I'm gonna label this as x, uh, x. So, so this distance, ano ni sa distance? So delta t. You have here delta t. So also the same this. So, three mano. So three three. Sa time perspective, I, we have labeled this and this so total distance of this is x plus delta t so i'm gonna label this uh draw x plus delta t so the same also in distance perspective or uh, distance so this perspective so this distance is here delta x so this little distance is gonna label this uh no label ta ng f of x ang um, oh f of x lang f of x so it's an arbitrary variable so we can apply this formula we gonna plug in this so so we conclude that the slope of uh, the slope of a line is equals to to derivative of function. So the derivative of function is equals to slope and velocity. So we can come up with this. So we can have the average velocity is equals to y sub two. Parios na sila sa Ay, ipatan ko mag label guys, sorry. So, are yung point 2 ni sa gali. Point 2. So, pila ang t distance ya. So, from here to here. This distance. So, ang ini nga point. So, pila ang t distance ni? X plus delta t. X plus delta t. So, wala na ko may space guys. So, drain lang sa dalama. So, what is the x distance of this point? f of x plus delta x. f of x delta plus delta x. So, so dry naman. Ano na ang distance? So, x. Just only x. Here. 
the t distance of this t so 0.1 x and the uh, x distance is just f of x so you can come up with a velocity uh, the average velocity of the two points so we have here y sub 2 which is f of x f of x plus f of x equals to delta x so just ah uh, dapat yun ni mag prepare pa di sa ka bandi per guys so talang it so I'm gonna rewrite the formula of the slope y sub two minus y sub one all over x sub two minus x sub 1. I'm gonna rewrite also the formula of the velocity which is also the average velocity is equals to slope as we have here. So y sub 2 is equals to same name, the same name, rewrite ko lang guys. So f of x plus delta x the parenthesis so minus y sub 1 which y sub 1 is just f of x f of x so all over x sub 2 which the x sub 2 is here the t distance of this point which is x plus delta t x plus delta t so, matindihan nyo lang guys. So, kung di klaro, comment lang, da, comment lang sa dalong kay as soon as possible na ma-replyan ko gina ka mo. So, so, balik ta sa minus x sub 1 which is x sub 1 is the uh, dalang gadula ko guys. Nang, x sub 1 wait, wait <laughs> x sub 1 is the delta x ah wait lang wait lang so guys kin klaro ko lang na yung kay hindi gid mention diyan na gid ko kag da moling whiteboard marker so sorry gid guys so ang x sub 1 is just only x so the t distance of this point so we have here x. So, this is the, so this is also the, the formula for the average velocity. So, kung gusto mo kwa ang average velocity, pwede ginisa. So, kung ma-remember nyo guys, so, the same, ano nga, for, ano nga formula, parehas ni. So, it is here. F of x. What a coincidence. Is also equal to F of x plus delta x minus F of x all over delta x. Which the limit of the limit as delta x approaches to approaches to zero so this is the general formula of derivative so amo na yung purpose ng akon nga video nga para i-prove sa inyo nga paano ko makakam up sa ini nga formula so so true average velocity so makakam up ka sang sang imo nga sang form sang imo nga formula nga amo ni nga which is the general formula of derivative so so may kulang pa wala ta limit so Manon tani. So here. So this expression is just equal to it is also equal to delta x. It's just equal to delta x. I'm gonna rewrite this right now. Delta t minus x. So 
delta x here is also equal to the difference of two points the t distance of two points so so if we let if we let this point uh, mga closer nga clo maging closer and closer sa sa ining point sta nga mag sa lap, lapitan nga malapit lapitan na sila so what is the value of delta t so if you gonna suggest what will gonna be the value of delta t kung mag kung magalapit nga malapit ni ang point ni sa so dinhi nagalin ang limit nga if delta x out sorry sorry delta x represented by delta t so also so this is just uh, an arbitrary variable so here also an arbitrary variable so okay lang lain lang yung variable so the same lang sa lagi apon so delta t also equal to delta x so delta t kung ang p sub 2 or ang point 2 magalapit nga malapit sa point 1 Anong mag, ano ang value sa delta t mo? So, magamay nga, magamay man sa. So, it means, hasta nga maging zero sa. So, dara na ka come up sa limit function formula. So, muna sa limit. I'm gonna rewrite this. So, f of, f prime of x. Since, f prime of x just equal to velocity in meter. This f of x just equal to velocity and meter. I in slope, rather. Than. So, f of x is equal to limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x as delta x approaches to zero. So, amo na guys. So, thank you gid sa pagtan-aw sa nga kon video. So, so I hope nga nakabalo ka mo kag ginitindihan niyo magi ko. So, kung may question pa mo, so please comment down below kag I will reply I will reply as soon as possible. So, thank you guys. God bless. Thank you.